So you are saying you have all the documents, that's bad. Follow the proceedings. Like, um, the arrival of Wajia Woman Representative Fatima Gedi in Parliament for today's session with a briefcase seemingly containing evidence against William Ruto's land grabbing allegations, signaled she had an agenda. Uh, on about here, Molo, you are the point of order also. But before being given the floor, there's mere members of parliament had a bone to chew with House Speaker Justin Muturi, raising questions about his ability to stay impartial, considering his latest stand on matters politics. You are a tribunal, and you must be impartial, and you must be independent on those questions of fact. Is it true that the deputy president is a land grabber? Fact, which has to be demonstrated. Is it true that we are not safe in his hands? Fact, which has to be demonstrated. So is the speaker, for these purposes, a member of parliament who must disclose conflict of interest under Article 91 or not? Mr. Speaker, that question of fact, I think, will put you in difficulty because we, all, we take judicial notice, Mr. Speaker, that you have found it fit to take sides with the deputy president. Let her, let her table the documents. When it was finally time to submit her evidence, the afternoon session was largely dominated by shouting and booing. I have gathered enough material evidence to substantiate my position that we are not safe please, please, in the hands please. of Kenya Allow Kwanzaa presidential to... candidates. And he has the impeccable records of land grabbing and the use of his position of influence to intimidate yeah. even children, Mr. Speaker. I have the pictures I will table of Langata Primary School children being tear gassed by police officers. It was during the ensuing melee that the Mbakasi East MP Babu Owino allegedly uttered some words deemed to be unparliamentary, forcing Speaker Muturi, who was having trouble controlling the session, to order for his removal from the chambers. I order you out of the chamber. Honorable Babu Owino, I order you out of the chamber. Despite the Speaker's insistence that the youthful MP leaves the house, Owino refused to abide. The standoff lasted for about 10 minutes before the speaker resorted to prematurely adjourn the house, citing standing order 112. The proceedings of today are adjourned. The house will resume on Tuesday, 10th of May, 2022, at 2.30 p.m. Philip Murutu, K24, Nairobi.